Hi, I'm Steve, and welcome to Keithley Briefly. Today we're going to be talking about a few different resistance measurement techniques, namely 2-wire, 4-wire, and 3-wire. The first technique we're going to be talking about is 2-wire, and uh, we have an example here using a DMM to measure a resistor. Now if you remember, Ohm's law, V equals IR, is how we measure resistance. We usually source a programmed current and measure a voltage which allows us to calculate for the resistance. In the case of two wire, we have a current source and a voltmeter operating on the same set of leads to the resistor. Now this is typically fine when the resistance of the dot is much greater than the resistance of the leads, but when it's close to the resistance of the leads, you do get a series lead resistance coming from those leads that adds to the resistance of the dot. Now, if your dot is, like I said earlier, significantly higher, that's going to be a very small percentage of the error. But as the dot becomes closer to the resistance of the leads, that error increases. Now, if you are measuring a lower resistance dot, you would want to use something like 4-wire. And in that method, we take the voltmeter and we break it off and put it on its own separate set of what we call sense leads. And these sense leads are attached as close as possible to the device under test. Now these sense leads also have a lead resistance, but, but because of the very high input impedance of the voltmeter, almost no current goes through here, so there's really no voltage drop. So we're able to measure the voltage across the resistor without any interference from the uh, leads. The third resistance measurement technique is three wire. And this isn't commonly used for typical resistors. Uh, it's more often used for industrial RTDs. Uh, this method is similar to four wire in that it gets you that same accuracy for low resistance devices, but it uses three wires rather than four, so there's less connections and slightly less cost in producing. So that's why it's you know fairly popular in industrial RTDs. Uh, the idea here is that rather than using the circuit to eliminate the lead resistance, we're going to use math. So one of the caveats of three wire is that all three of the leads need to have the exact same resistance. And now what you do is you make two separate two wire measurements. You make a two wire measurement between points one and two, which gives you the resistance of R, excuse me, R1 and R of the RTD and R2. So you have the lead resistance of this wire and this wire and the RTD. Then you make a second two wire measurement between points two and three, which gives you R2 plus R3. So the lead resistance of both of these wires. And now because R1, R2, and R3 are all equivalent, you can subtract these two measurements and cancel out R1 and R2 and R2 and R3, leaving you with just the resistance of the RTD. All right, so that was a couple of resistance measurement techniques. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact Electronics Technical Support. We'd be happy to help.